Could sociability be an early sign of Alzheimer's? When we think about Alzheimer's disease, one image often comes to mind, isolation. But what if that picture is incomplete? What if, at least in the early stages, Alzheimer's doesn't pull people away from others, but subtly draws them in? A massive new study looked at the genetic risk and social lives of over half a million people, and the results were unexpected. Those with a higher genetic risk for Alzheimer's were less likely to be socially isolated. They attended more social activities, reported happier family relationships, and appeared more socially engaged overall. That doesn't mean they were any less lonely or more emotionally supported than others, but they were, on the surface, more connected. So what's happening here? It's possible that people at higher risk are instinctively seeking more connection, or that friends and family are unconsciously noticing changes and responding with more support. Whatever the cause, it turns the old story of Alzheimer's on its head. Instead of retreating from the world, early risk might involve stepping further into it. And that could be the key, not just for understanding Alzheimer's, but for identifying it earlier and helping those affected feel seen, supported, and connected before the disease fully takes hold. This video is based on the research paper, The Association of Alzheimer's Disease Genetic Risk with Social Connectedness in Middle and Older Ages by Ashwin Kotwal et al. in American Journal of Epidemiology. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.